everyone, today is my January favorites video. I almost just said November, but it's it's 2014. My first favorite, this is like my all time favorite ever in the entire world. I feel like I have lipstick on my teeth, but I don't. I got rid of it, there you go. Um, Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. I first fell in love with this because of the bottom, like what is that? Like I need my hands on it. This is just like right up my alley, you know, red, purple, and like black and white stripe. It's like me in a bottle. And then the scent, like, Oh my god, it smells so good. It's like you're walking in a forest of like flowers and it it's like a wonderland of like floor. I just I love this perfume so much. I can't get enough of it. Whenever I'm at work, I just like go straight to this in the fragrances and just like spray it all over myself because I can't get enough. I love this perfume. My next favorite is the Makeup Forever HD. This is um I have I'm in the shade N110. That's what I was going to say. This is one of my like favorite foundations in the entire world. It makes your skin look like flawless. I'm wearing it today. Although I do have like a couple breakouts. I've been wearing too much makeup lately. But um this is awesome. It makes your skin look gorgeous. This shade is a little bit like pink for me, but they don't really make a lighter shade. They make 107 and that's like way more pink so there's not this is this is as good as it's getting and I mean you can't really tell I mean I have a lot of blush and everything on right now but I love this foundation I always suggest it to people now and like because I work with it in school like I know how it looks on other people's skin and actually being able to use it on me now without like the white cryolin makeup mixed in with it I love it so 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 much. Next favorite is this body wash. It is by Soap and Glory. I hauled like this huge amount of Soap and Glory stuff and this is like one of the only things I have left. I was just like saving it. I'm like this is so gonna be so good. It smells delicious. It's scented with the Miss You Madleys. This is the Clean Girls Skin Softening Creamy Body Wash. Um, it says it's with natural vanilla fruit and orchid extracts and built-in moisturizing matrix. I do feel moisturized when I use this and I really, I just love the scent of it. Oh man, it, it smells just clean. I've been liking this stuff. It doesn't look like I've used anything, but it's like up to there. I have, trust me. Um, my next favorite is Duh Glam Glow. I got this in a little set, uh, like it was like a Christmas set from Sephora. I love me some Glam Glow. I did like a first impression of it. When Chloe and I were in Vegas, it was so fun. We were like, some people comment on it, they're like, you seem drunk in this video, or like, you two are annoying. I'm like, I d first of all, I really don't care. This is the topic I'm gonna touch on right now. First of all, people get too invested in like YouTube. Like if you're out there like searching for like little things in my video like, oh my god, like there's no candles right there or like there's a piece of paper on your floor. Like I, I don't care. Like you obviously don't know me because I really do not give a shit and I'm probably gonna delete your comment. Someone was like trolling on my Instagram being like, you deleted my comment. I'm like, yeah, because I don't care. Like I literally don't care. So I'm gonna delete your comment. Anyway, back onto Glam Glow. I love this stuff. This one is a super mud clearing treatment. This thing sucks out anything that could possibly be on your face. It kind of smells like licorice, but like minty. Um, I can't get enough of this stuff. If you haven't tried Glam Glow, you're living under a rock and you need to try some Glam Glow because it's amazing. Some people say that it burns their skin, but I'm like, eh, you'll be fine. It literally like sucks everything out of your face. My next favorite, another item from Sephora, go figure. This is gonna, this is gonna be a long year, folks. I'm just kidding. Is this Brow Wiz, and I have used the shade Ebony. This is what I have on my brows right now. This makes your brows look so, so natural. It takes a little bit longer to do because it's like so teeny on here. But um, it makes your brows look so natural. Should I get up all close here? Yeah. It's like, it's wonderful. Like it makes, I don't know why, but it like makes all of the like brow hairs on your brow like stand out and like, I don't know. It's some sort of mystery, magical wizard brow whiz thing here. Is it brow wizard? Is that what it's meant to like, like mean? I don't know, but I've been using the shade Ebony and I really, really like my brows. 
Yeah. This next little guy is the Complete Salon Manicure by Sally Hansen Nail Polish in the shade Red My Lips. I have tried this line of nail polish before I got this in my influencer and I love them specifically because of the brush like the brush has a huge huge brush you know like the wet n wild um nail polishes it has that like salon quality brush it's like so big and it just like coats your nails like it's so easy to paint your nails with this little sucker and it's literally like it like hardens like to a rock on your nails it does not chip like I'm not kidding you it does not chip and it just because it doesn't and it's just like a rock it makes my nails grow like my nails have been, like look how long my thumb is right now like my nail doesn't get that long my nails are so thin and brittle and they always just break that doesn't break on me it's like some sort of it's like the brow with it's like it's this magical wizard thing I don't know but sticking with nails these are these little cotton pads that I bought from Superstore they're like the Joe Fresh brand um, it says they're 100% cotton 100% cotton and they're quilted durable stitched edge and these are like heavy-duty like cotton pads I used to just get my like cotton rounds at like Dollarama and you know whatever but these are amazing like do you see the little stitch like quilting in there they're so thick they just take everything off like when I remove my makeup it's just like oh gone and when I take my nail polish off it's just like I hold it on there and it's just it's gone and I think it's because it's like quilted and it has like some texture to it I don't know but I think these were three dollars I'm not too sure but I don't use as many of them because it takes it off in one go so I've been really liking these cotton pads I have a couple more favorites. Since I did my like MAC blush um, collection video, I've been in love with Spring Sheen. It's almost gone, but I was like, where has this been? Like, why have I been ignoring you? This blush is so, so, so gorgeous. It's really comparable to NARS Orgasm. Like, super comparable to that. It's more of like pinkier than that though, but it is so gorgeous. And I can't believe that I ignored this little sucker for so long because he's, he's so beautiful so i'm really liking that and another one this is going to be my last favorite is the lashes that i have on right now do you see those i don't know if you're going to be able to see them i don't know what angle to do here because i can't see but these are the regal lashes from sephora brandon actually got these for me and i kid you not i wore these lashes probably 10 times all i do is just soak them in alcohol and it removes the glue it's just like so easy on how to like reuse your lashes but these lashes look so good. They look, I mean, they don't look natural, but they, you don't really see, like, that they're fake. I don't know. This, this is natural to me. But yeah, those lashes have been, like, they're strong little cookies, let me tell you. They're, like, double stack lashes, and I think that's why I like them, because it's actually two pairs, not one. They are beautiful anyway that is all of my favorites for this month if you want to follow me on instagram you can it's bailey beauty xo and i will see you later bye